Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Lori Hill and I make videos about plastic surgery. My goal is to show you that beauty is attainable. It's also to lift secrecy that surrounds plastic surgery because everybody deserves to feel beautiful. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe. I'm not a plastic surgeon. My degree and background are in the dental field. I have had plastic surgery myself and I'm damn proud of it. When I make my celebrity plastic surgery videos, it's never to shame or expose that celebrity. It's simply to highlight the fact that Hollywood is an illusion. Models, actors, and influencers rarely start out with the type of perfection in their looks that we see on them today. Today we're going to be talking about the exceptionally beautiful Margot Robbie, who's an Australian actress who's become extremely famous worldwide. We're going to talk about what makes Margot so beautiful. We're also going to talk about if she's had any plastic surgery procedures. Lastly, we're going to add up how much it costs to have a look like Margot Robbie. Let's get started. Margot Robbie is an Australian actress best known for her roles in The Wolf of Wall Street, you're a father now, Jordan? Yeah. You're a father now. I know. And you're still acting yes. like an insane. Ah! Suicide Squad. Something tells me a whole lot of people are about to die. And I, Tanya. What kind of friggin' person bashes in their friend's knee? Margot was born on July 2nd, 1990, and she comes from a family of four children. Margot has a lot of natural beauty traits, like her horizontally long eyes, her strong bone structure, and her naturally wide smile. The following discussion on Margot's age is not meant to be taken derogatory in the least, as I reject ageism in all forms. It's simply to educate you on why sometimes Margot is mistaken for somebody older. Margot's age has come into question many times throughout her career. Before I knew her age, I guessed her at 35 years old, although she's actually 30. The reason that I guessed her at this age is her skin behavior is that of someone older. Because of the way, it sinks in slightly in these areas. I am aware that sun exposure plays a role in skin aging. And Margot is from Australia, where the sun is particularly strong. But the type of aging I'm seeing here is generally the result of something called involution, which is the shrinking of bones as you age, causing your skin to sink into your bone structure. Her skin also displays a laxity that you don't often see in people in their late 20s, as Margot was here. To be fair, there's no evidence that Margot is lying about her age, and sometimes people with really strong bone structure give off a more mature vibe. After my initial glance over Margot Robbie's photos, I didn't see any obvious plastic surgery that stuck out to me, but I am working on a K-pop project, and working on this K-pop project has really enlightened me to the fact that there is plastic surgery in the world that's very, very subtle. The surgeons are literally moving millimeter by millimeter. Knowing this, I decided to take more time on Margot and really inspect each facial feature. And I'm really glad I did because had I not, I would have missed a few things. For those of you new to my channel, I don't make the analysis off of only the photos that I show in these videos. In fact, most celebrities take between two and 400 photos per analysis. I used over 200 unedited and unphotoshopped photos of Margot. The only time I use my photo overlay test is when I can get the before and the after photo lined up exactly with the same exact angle. Now because this is very hard to do, I generally only use photos from celebrities who have been photographed a lot because the odds of getting the exact same angle in a match are much higher with those celebrities. Starting with Margot's nose, we will use two methods to see if she's had work done. Watch as I gradually move the photo transparency down. Do you see how her nose tip is getting more narrow and how the area right above her tip called the supra tip break has been scooped out to the point where there's no longer a smooth transition from her dorsum to her tip? Her whole nose also looks smaller. 
Now let's take a look at before and after. It's my belief that Margot has had a rhinoplasty that brought her nostrils in as well as narrowed her tip and made her overall nose look more narrow from the front view. The slight hump that Margot has on profile was left alone, and this is often done so that you won't think that that celebrity has had a nose job. Let's look at Margot's cheeks. Watch the change in her cheeks as I move the transparency. Do you see how she went from having a plump fullness in them to having a gauntness to them? This may be the result of buccal fat removal. Margot started out with beautiful plumpness to her cheeks, much like Emma Stone, who she strongly resembled. It was around the time of this first photo where I believe she initially had the buccal fat removal done. As she moves into her 20s, we see that she looks great. The removal really took her from looking like a girl next door to a sexy bombshell. It's as Margot enters her mid to late 20s where we start to see a hint of premature aging and gauntness. And this is usually the pattern of buccal fat removal. It looks amazing at first, but as you age and naturally lose fat from the buccal area, you can risk looking too drawn in. Here's a photo of Margot where we see a concavity or a dimple exactly in the areas that they typically remove buccal fat from and nowhere else. Had this been purely from weight loss, then we would see weight loss throughout her face. I think we just solved the mystery of why Margot looks older than her age. It's long been known that taking out too much of the buccal fat may result in hollowing of the cheeks as you age. Predicting the outcome of this surgery is almost impossible. The goal is to take out enough fat to give a great result but not so much as to prematurely age somebody. We do see with Margot that having the fat removed has given her beautiful curves in her cheeks, but it has also given her a more mature look. For those wanting to have buccal fat removal, you must be able to accept the possibility of it giving you an older look. I also think that Margot gets Botox to her forehead because there are no expression lines there, as well as Botox to her crow's feet. I also think that Margot uses lip filler to plump up her lips slightly. How much does it cost to have a look like Margot Robbie? These prices are the current prices in Beverly Hills, and I do give a range, but for Margot, I do use the top of the price range. Rhinoplasty, 15,000. Buccal fat removal, 7,000. Filler and Botox maintenance, 2,500 a year. Total cost, $24,500. The small changes that have been made on Margot really highlights the fact that perfection is really just sometimes a few millimeters difference here and there. I know a lot of people thought that Margot was completely natural, including some plastic surgery before and after accounts I follow on Instagram. I really wonder who was requesting these little plastic surgery tweaks made to Margot. Was it her choice or was it Hollywood's obsession with perfection in their actors? I know when I go to the movies, I prefer a good mix of beautiful and relatable looking people. Let me know in the comments what you prefer to see on the big screen. Whether Margot Robbie has had plastic surgery or not, no one can deny her unbelievable talent and her stunning looks. Up next is my reaction to YouTuber Gabby DiMartino's plastic surgeries, or watch my completely bingeable celebrity playlist with over 20 very famous celebrities. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>